welcome back. We're going to tie Crazy Charlie today. It's a very common bonefish fly. Uh, I've caught dozens upon dozens of bonefish and Belize on it. You can't go wrong. Um, so you're going to get your size 6 hook. You can go size 8 uh, down to a size 10. It doesn't really matter. Bonefish are they're pretty small in Belize. So if you're going somewhere like Hawaii, um, the Bahamas, you may be able to tie something a little bit bigger for them. But if you're going to Belize, size 6 is great. Again, I'm using the Daiichi, uh, my 2546. It's, uh, it's my favorite hook for pretty much everything. Um, for this, you're, you're going to need the hook, of course. Um, you're going to need a little bit of this uh, braid, the uh, polar braid. Um, you're going to get some flash. You're going to have some craft fur. And again, you can tie this with bead chain eyes or you can use dumbbell eyes. Uh, I like to use bead chain eyes on this just because normally when you're casting to bonefish it's in fairly shallow water but remember if you're uh, going to Belize during the hot parts of the day when the tide goes out uh, some of the bonefish are trolling the flats but a lot of them are actually in the channels and so you're gonna want something that sinks pretty good so make sure you tie you know a couple with you know some good uh, dumbbell eyes on it so that you can sink it down there and and catch a few off the bottom there it's it's a lot of fun uh, it does feel like cheating but because you're just sitting there pulling them out one after the other so first thing you're going to do is come up to about a quarter of the hook you don't have to wrap all the way back you're going to get your bead chain eyes and you're going to capture them onto the hook and remember from our Clouser Minnow video, we're going to do some X wraps, then we're going to do some figure eights, and then we're going to go under both sides of it and finish it up with some over wraps. Now, this is a very simple fly, and you know, less is more. Um, whenever you get to the end of it I'll show you um, one nice thing to add to it so you don't have to add this part there's several variations of this I'll I'll probably go back and do a few videos on this fly because you can do so much with it uh, today I'm, I'm going to show you with the braid what that looks like so I like to keep the braid uniform across the hook so I will actually wrap it all the way up to the eyes and that's just so it isn't a weird lump in the back whenever I start twisting this to the front. And so I've tied in my braid here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the fly upside down. And I'm going to start wrapping this towards the front. Uh, I want this to be semi-tight. Um, you don't want it to be able to... Uh, move around too much uh, whenever you're whenever you're fishing it, it will uh, it will start to move on you and so I'm going to wrap it around the eyes of the hook and then I'm going to capture it right here in front of the eyes and so now that we've got it captured really well we're going to cut it carefully. Always try to cut away from your fly line. Try to pull whatever you're cutting to the other side of the hook. So we're going to put a few tight wraps on here. Make sure that's all good to go. Now you have a nice flashy body on it. And you know you can use a lot of different materials. Like I said, there's, there's a thousand different ways to do this fly. Um, they're really effective in a sand color. So what I like to do actually is I will take a little piece of craft fur and I'm just going to cut a chunk out of it. Uh, like we've seen in the videos before, you have all this thick stuff at the bottom that's not really useful. So you want to pinch about halfway up, get all of this thick stuff out. You can get all this thick stuff out. You're not tying useless crap in there. 
and then you want to look at the longer things. You see how short the hook is. You can't have a whole bunch of long stuff in here either. So we'll take that out as well. And once you feel like you got a pretty good, you know, about the width of the hook size tip on this thing, you can place it on your fly. You want it to stick out about a quarter as long as the fly is. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, oh, my bad. I'm forgetting my best practices here. You want to uh, measure it up, see where you want it to stick out to, and then you want to trim your hair to fit. So just straight across. And you really, you know, whenever your tie material in, it's, it's, a, it's a best practice to get it to fit before you tie so that you're not trying to cut things afterward. Because if you're trying to cut things afterward, usually it doesn't tie in very well, and then you're dealing with a lot of loose ends. It does not help you. So now I've, I've tied all this in. There's, there's going to be a little bit of hair that comes out of this. That's just the nature of, of craft fur. So I'm going to whip finish this guy. I'm, I'm an over whip finisher. You don't have to do four wraps. Um, I definitely feel like whip finishing helps. Let's see if I can get just a little bit of zappa gap on the top of the hook. There we go, just a little bit. And then I want to get some zappa gap on the eyes and over the front. Make sure that you don't get it in the eye. And zap gap should be drying. Now you have a perfectly good fly. Uh, you're going to catch a ton of bonefish with these. This is the simplest version. Uh, I told you you needed the, the uh, flash just because I, I want you to know the option that you know you don't need it to be overly flashy. Um, you can tie in flash before you tie in your craft fur and have a little bit in there. Or instead of using the braid, you can tie in some strands of flash and wrap it around the hook. So that's why I want you to know that that's an option. It makes it a little bit easier to tie this fly if you don't have the braid or if you don't have the flash, you can use the braid. So it's a really simple fly, very effective in Belize. Uh, give it a try. I mean, I've actually caught a few few fish in the Texas Gulf with one of these. So it's, it's a very versatile fly and everyone should have it in their box.